Hey Cancer, thank you for being the highest watched video this week, the highest liked video this week. I appreciate you. How do we get views on a video? By liking it. YouTube looks at the likes to uh, recommend the video outside of the channel. All right, let's do it. So Cancer, we're using the Quantum Oracle. We're going to use the Lightseer's Tarot and we're going to use the Wheel of the Year. Let's do it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for cancer? Or what do we need to know? What are the messages? This is for cancer or anyone with cancer placements or anyone else who's guided to see the cancer reading, even a cross watcher. You could resonate with this reading. It could be your reading. What do we need to know? What are the messages? Cancer reading. This is for whenever it's for. Whoa, look at that. Nice. Wow. <laughs> How nice. Bottom of the deck deserving. All right. So you have a brand new cycle starting and listen this this new cycle hold on one second cancer i got a hair stuck here okay you've got a new cycle starting look at new beginnings look at the new pathway here the new baby the new flowers it's new 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 everything it's a beautiful new cycle it could be caused as the result of some kind of conflict that happens so this conflict may break out and then this new cycle opens up for you. So this really could be, I'm done, I'm going, I'm going, I'm out of here. It could be you quitting. It could be you leaving. It could be anything. But whatever it is, it may come out, start like this. But then look at what comes of it. Oh my God, it's beautiful. The dawning of a new day. Uh, this is this nine of uh, pentacles for me. When I look at this, I see a, it's like a mix between the six of wands and the nine of pentacles for me. Deserving. So nice. This really opens up a whole new. Now, this could have already happened like a long time ago. It doesn't. It's just showing that a conflict now it could be happening now. Could have happened yesterday and last week. It's something that causes this change in your life that opens up a number one card for you a new beginning brand new cycle um it's really lovely and you end up in this really high uh state of consciousness because of it so this actually ends up being very positive for you so let's get the tarot we're going to start with the light seers tarot here and we're going to check this out beautiful energy spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know what are the messages what do we need to know what are the messages cancer reading this reading is for anyone with cancer placements or anyone else who's guided to see the cancer reading all right let's get a peek at it conflict new beginnings and deserving Yeah, new beginnings, page of cups, all new. Yep, ace of pentacles, brand new beginning. Look at that right underneath of the new beginnings card. This is your central issue. It's all about your new beginning. Gorgeous. Ace of pentacles, two of swords reversed. That's the way we want to see it. What a great reading, Cancer. I'm telling you, Cancer can't go wrong these days, really. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hold on, guys. I almost dropped the whole deck. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Cancer. Look. Look at this. All right. Yeah. So we have the Eight of Swords. You might not realize. <laughs> it's almost like she has no idea. Look, she still feels like she's all tangled up here, but she's really not. Look, when we turn it around, she's not tangled up. She just feels that way she sees herself that way why well look it's the same person all tangled up here this uh, you get untangled by making some kind of a decision here um, and this decision could be something you've been very conflicted about so keep this in mind this conflict card could be saying conflicted so in other words you might not even have had an actual conflict with anyone but you could be conflicted about a decision that you would make you feel bound to something um and you're and even the hanged man you know is staying here because they are um becoming enlightened while they're staying here so even if you have been in this position you've been becoming enlightened while you were in it so the hanged man is almost in a stuck position but the hangman really does put themselves in this stuck position 
purposefully to see things from another perspective, to gain all this enlightenment, to become enlightened and grow in many different ways internally, right? This is why we are in a state of consciousness of deserving because of all your growth. Look at this. Oh, I have chills. Judgment. Look at the rebirth. She's like rebirth. She, he, and they. Please, no gender. I, I'm reading cards and it's a she, but it could be he or they. And that's on every single card I'm about to read, please. Uh, we have a complete rebirth here, a renewal. Uh, of what beautiful energy. Wow. Ace of Pentacles, your new beginning. Your new beginning. So nice. And the Page of Cups, you know, is all about the new cup, the new energy, the new um, beginning. It's all new, new, new. It's very young energy. And we have the Hierophant reversed here. So this could be something, um, you could be leaving behind some kind of an institution. You could be leaving behind a person, a place, a thing. It's something that you have been conflicted about. Well, should I stay or should I go? Should I leave or should, I? and some of you could have had an actual conflict with someone, uh, like we said in the very beginning. I feel like it's going to be different for each of you, but let's find out. Wheel of the year. I can't wait to clarify this. You have some wonderful cards here, really. New beginnings, deserving, ace of pentacles, judgment, and the hangman are all such really, really good cards. Look at that judgment card. That's my favorite card in this deck, that rebirth. But this that deck's a beautiful deck. Light Sears Tarot. Wheel of the year is what we're using now. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. What do we need to know? What are the messages? What do we need to know? What are the messages? Cancer reading for anyone who's guided to see it. Cancer reading. All right, let's take a little look at that Ace of Pentacles smack dab in the center of the reading. What do we need to know? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, the the uh, Four of Pentacles. And see how like somebody is being very miserly, holding on for dear life, not letting go, not releasing. It could be that someone owes you money. It's very possible someone owes you money that... Um, this could be what the conflict was about. Let's take a little look at, um, but this really could be releasing an old cycle that you were conflicted about holding on to. Like, I'm going to hang on to this, even though in your highest good and in your mind, like you knew it wasn't in your highest good to hang on to this cycle. And now you, this is like you're, re you're releasing it, graduating, so to speak. Uh, for some of you, that'll be the case. But let's look at, um, I might come back to this central issue. Let's look at the Page of Cups, this new energy coming in. Tell me about the Page of Cups here. Cancer reading. Page of Cups, please. Cancer reading. There we go. I see it. Yeah, absolutely. We have the magician reverse and we have the um, fool riding the wheel of fortune. So this feels to me like a new beginning that you all look at. If you look very closely at this page of cups, this page of cups is wants this new beginning, like with all their heart, their hearts actually lit up. And you can see over here is the little hand signal with the heart. You know, I want another person to join my heart, right? Um, but it's like when pigs fly, I'll get that cup. Like I'm waiting, like it's almost like a dream. Like I want this, but I haven't received it yet. I've been having a hard time manifesting it with the magician reverse, but guess what? That wheel will turn when you say it will turn. And this is the fool. The fool rides the wheel of fortune. In other words, the fool really controls their wheel of fortune. Even if you don't realize it, you hold all the, um, power here, even if you feel um, t intimidated or you feel maybe even, um, like it's just a dream. What do you mean? You could be conflicted about this new beginning and spirit saying, but this new beginning could really be. And if you allow yourself to release the old and well, it's not even about releasing the old, it's really about releasing yourself so that you know that you hold the control for this new beginning and you deserve it. That's the really important thing here. Not confl being conflicted with self sometimes is worse than being conflicted with another human. 
All right, let's take a and look at that. Eight of Wands, full speed ahead, action, movement, allowing a transformation. Look at that. Amazing. All right, let's look at that. Um, I want to look at, wow, there's just, I want to do a little shift in here. Because I want to look at this Two of Swords reversed with the Eight of Swords. Because whatever this is, you're finally going to be able to understand it better, see it better, make decisions. Tell me about this Eight of Swords and Two of Swords reversed. Yeah, abso absolutely. I can't even look at this. Whatever it is, you'll see it better. The Hermit, who shines the light on the path ahead. Again, seeing it clearly something that the hangman's been trying to discover the hermit discovers right because now you're seeing something and it's allowing you to make a decision two of pentacles about a new opportunity princess of pentacles there's something here and i feel like you might have been stressed or worried about this with the nine of swords and the fact that you've been hanging on and afraid to actually release you felt like i it's like you feel you feel stuck and it's made it hard for you to make decisions because it's hard to make decisions when you don't know how something's going to work out. You know, the two of swords, she has to make decisions with a blindfold on, um, not knowing how it's going to work out. So we have to get our decisions. We have to make our decisions through our intuition. And that's what the two of swords does. She makes her decisions. She, he, they, through their intuition. Look at this. I'm going within to decide what to do here with this decision about a new opportunity. Another princess, princess of, they call them princesses in this deck. Uh, princess of pentacles is same as page of pentacles. So there's this new opportunity and you're finally starting to see that the new opportunity, you deserve it. And you should go down there as much as you are conflicted for some reason about this. It's got you stressed and worried. I feel you feel bound to something. There's something that's making you feel, again, stuck. But this release is what is going to open you up to this gorgeous new beginning. Whatever it is you are bound to might be an institution or a relationship of some kind or an obligation is what I want to say. All right. I want to look at these um, beautiful cards of judgment and the hangman. Which way do I go with this? All right, we're gonna we're being guided to do them separate. We're gonna do the hangman. What about the hangman? Cancer reading. Yeah, look at this. Ten of Pentacles reverse, judgment in reverse. These are the things you've been trying to figure out while you've been in this position. Trying to see it from another perspective, trying to become enlightened about it, trying to figure it out. And we have judgment in reverse, ten of pentacles in reverse. This is something you haven't achieved yet. Here it comes. Judgment in the upright. Let's take a look at it. This is the thing that you needed time to reflect on. Hanged man, hermit, judgment, and now here it comes. Let's look at it. It's been stressful for you. Again, you had nine of swords at the bottom a second ago. Now you have ten of swords at the bottom. And you also have that eight of swords of being all stressed out about this. But that stress and that worry has kept you bound, the devil bound to something four of pentacles bound to it ten of or i'm sorry eight of swords bound 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 but it's really all about feeling obligated to something or someone tell me about judgment what is it about judgment we need to know this is a rebirth this is a renewal this is a gorgeous card tell me about judgment what is it we need to know here please yep it's about a decision look at that two of swords again again allowing yourself to decide and make the decision and seeing it from a different perspective and putting down the nine of this is the wounded warrior this is someone who has fought the good fight and spirits like stop fighting ten of wands you've carried these burdens a long long way ten of wands nine of wands you're at the end of something here absolutely but it's the beginning of something here but you've been so conflicted about letting this end happen i don't know what this is exactly cancer but it's it's something about your foundation and it's going to be a change in your foundation and this is the thing that it's hard for cancer to change their foundation because cancers are all about their home their family their work oh my god cancers are some of the hardest working people you will ever meet in your life and when they're focused 
on work. Now, this is a high vibration cancer I'm talking about. When they are focused on something, they won't eat, they won't sleep, they won't they won't stop till that's done, till the work is done. Uh, if you guys know what I mean, give a holler. All right, let's take a look at the hanged man with the Ten of Pentacles reversed and the judgment reversed. What is it that Cancer is taking in here about this judgment and Ten of Pentacles reversed? Seeing it from another perspective, understanding that change is necessary, understanding, yep, yeah, absolutely, you can stay here. In the devil energy, which is like stuck, or you can go for it. Look at her looking at that star and knowing that she's going to have to take an action. Three of wands to get what she wants. Beautiful. And that's exactly what was coming through for me about this is taking this leap of faith, taking this active stance on moving forward and getting yourself out of the hangman position and into the enlightened state of I now know what to, to do. The hangman is getting enlightened, but I never feel the hangman is ready till the hangman is in the upright. And this is the thing. The only thing keeping you from being in that hangman in the reverse, which is actually the hang, hangman who's now enlightened, is actually making a move, taking some kind of action and moving towards a goal or something that you want. And at the bottom of your deck, you do have the temperance card and behind it, you have the 10 of cups, which makes me believe that this will be something that you will really love. And you're being guided towards it through Archangel Michael here with temperance and timing and the divine stepping in is really beautiful because you deserve the new beginning even if you're conflicted about it, even it's very hard for cancer. I do. I know. I know. Um, it's hard to just, you know, and it just, it really does show your responsible nature. If you feel bound to something, it's very hard for you to say, but I deserve something better. Uh, when you feel bound and responsible for something else. And that is cancer all the way to give a holler. If you agree, down below in the comment section. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, Cancer, I hope that you are enjoying this. I'm going to give you a couple of after tarot just for fun as we leave because you've earned it and I appreciate you guys and want you to know it. All right, spirit and angels. There it is. Temperance right out the deck. I, this is exactly what I just said. Temperance. There it is. Archangel Michael stepping in. Uh, helping you see something. Helping you discover something. And look at what the hermit's looking right at. Where did it go? Wait a minute. Everything's backwards in the camera. The hermit is shining the light right on the six of wands, the victory. And the sun is shining bright and illuminating it, lighting it up and saying, hey, your victory is over here, Cancer. It's over here. Follow us. Follow your intuition. Follow your gut. Whatever it is you've been being guided towards, that is your journey there. Good luck, Cancer. That's all I'm going to pull because this is just an amazing reading. Really showing that there's something... There's something for you and it's right, it's right there. It's like you just have to walk through that and your whole dream and you can put whatever you want in this picture because we all want something different. We all dream about different things. They show her, he, she, they standing here with her beautiful home and her beautiful garden and her beautiful life and her beautiful high vibration. You know, picture yourself there with whatever it is you want, right? Uh, it's gorgeous. Good luck, you guys. Thanks for so much, Cancer, for helping this channel in the ways that you do. It really is special and important. I appreciate you guys. Bye.